everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to stop or remove the anti malware service executable on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So, this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, all you have to do is just basically turning off the Windows security settings or Windows Defender antivirus. So if you'd rather use a different antivirus software or if you want to see you know, if this is particularly what's causing the issue, that's probably where you want to start. So we just want to keep that in mind that you should have some sort of antivirus or anti-malware protection enabled on your computer. But if you're having an issue with Windows Defender, one of the first places to start is just to actually turn it off and see if that helps resolve the problem. So we're going to go ahead and jump into it and start by opening up the search menu. Type in settings. Best result should come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the left side, you want to go down and select privacy and security. And then on the right side, underneath security, select Windows security. And it should be uh, Windows security is your home to view and manage the security and health of your device. Select the open Windows security button. Select the virus and threat protection button. Underneath virus and threat protection settings, select manage settings. And turn off real-time protection and select yes. And see if that resolves the issue, if that is what's causing the problem. Now, I would not suggest this as a long-term solution. It's kind of a double-edged sword, if you will, that if you're having high usage with this process, that means that Windows Security might be running a lot of scans in the background. Something you could perform here, it would be a quick scan or even a full scan here and see if there's anything that might be getting caught up in the Windows Security sandbox, perhaps, and see if that is what's causing the problem. You can also check protection history and see if there are any files in here that might be preventing Windows Security from actually deleting a file or there might be some sort of conflict going on in here, in which case you could look item by item. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. And again, that's just something you would maybe want to take a look into here as well. So like I said, pretty straightforward process. Do pause to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.